The Tulsa Police Officers Union disputes a claim there's a racial bias to arrests and the use of force. News on 6's Emery Bryan is live on the story at the police department. Emery. Well, in, uh, Craig, in Tulsa, uh, black people are arrested twice as often subject to use of force incidents, five times as often as white people. The question is, what do those numbers mean? The NAACP Legal Defense, Defense Fund and the police union differ on the meaning of those numbers. And if you've got folks in this community that are saying we have a problem in Tulsa, Let's come together and address the problem. State Representative Regina Goodwin is part of a group asking the city to address racial disparities in policing they blame on a bias against black people. A report on arrest rates showed black people are arrested at twice the rate of white people. The police say that number is misleading. We go where the victims are and we chase who the reported suspects are. A police union representative says officers are simply responding to problem areas. They follow the crime and they go where they're called to go and more times than not that's into the African American community where African Americans are overwhelmingly being victimized. The NAACP Legal Defense Fund believes the numbers tell a story of racial bias most vividly illustrated by the shooting death of Terrence Crutcher. They want officers to choose lesser alternatives to arrest for minor crimes and they want citizen review boards for serious Serious incidents. When's it going to stop? Every time we do something, the goalpost just keeps moving. So the the last big thing was was body cameras. So we implemented that. Representative Goodwin believes the numbers on arrests show that black people are treated unfairly and not just for serious crimes. No one called an officer on me when I was stopped uh, for no reason, uh, and I was pulled over and I was falsely accused of doing something that I did not do. Now, the city of Tulsa, Mayor Bynum, will not really respond to this request for more action because some of the people who signed on to that letter are also suing the city of Tulsa over the Terrence Crutcher shooting. We've placed those documents, this request from the NAACP, and the response online at newson6.com. Reporting live on the scene on the story downtown at the police department, Emory Bryan, News on 6.